Hey everybody, Sam here and Angela and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to another video from our 1988 Palm Harbor single wild mobile home. <laughs> we're not in the bedroom doing that renovation today. Today we're doing something totally different. What are we doing? We are going to be starting our creep onto the laundry room. As you can see, this area back here has not been touched. We have some apple baskets. That's what the whole kitchen, dining room, everything was. And we covered up most of it. It did not get into here though. Right. This is a tiny little area for pretty much laundry and pantry. We have washer on one side, dryer on the other, and then some storage above. But it doesn't really work out well that way. But that was one of the coolest things when we saw this house. It was. We never would have thought a single wide mobile home would have a laundry room. <laughs> and I mean, it's a, a one butt space, but hey, it is a laundry room. And that's something that we've always liked and we do want to preserve, but just make a little bit better. Welcome to the laundry room. Right here is where the dryer used to be. And over here was the washer. We had just a little bit of space right here for pantry items. And then this was kind of catch all. While well, we do have some ideas of what we're going to do, first we have to go ahead and demo all of this so we can replace the floor and redo the drywall. Since it's such a small space, we're just going to go ahead and work because otherwise there's no room for the camera. So we're going to do a little one, two, three magic and it'll be done. One, two, three. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Well now, but what about me if I want to shoot clips as you work? Okay. I don't know. Well then just, I don't know. I want to just do something. Boy, somebody made a fluffy mess out there. Shoot. Hey guys, hey. You're, you're a little too loud. Okay, quit the screaming. People are gonna think you're hurting. You're just feral, but people are gonna think you're hurt, so don't be screaming so much. And got me. No pain, no gain. You're free to take drywall out. I got that out of the way and disconnected. Bye-bye apple baskets. Hey, can I point out something real quick? What? 
Not proper footwear. This is proper for me. Yes. I always fuss at her over not proper footwear. I try guys, but she doesn't listen to me. And, um, a regular. So this is what the original outlets and switches looked like in this mobile home. Like a combo box switch all in one. It's an interesting concept. I can definitely see how that's interesting, but really they're a hunk of junk. Hockey yaki. Like a Judy chop. Use what you got. Oh, that's why that wouldn't come. Look at that. Look at that. Sam and Angela's been here before. Hey, you know what? Somebody wrote us a comment. We call this blocking. Uh huh. They call it noggin. Noggin? Yeah, I think from the UK. That's what you use when you're thinking. You use your <laughs> noggin. Well, I guess we're thinking those are noggin. Whoa. That was from a patch. It's a heck of a patch. And then, look here. This is, uh, I remember doing this. This is my patch to fix an old work outlet box and it messes up. Put some hardwood strips across. So the demo is done. Overall, it wasn't that bad. This was a one person demo. I was able to do it by myself. But I do have a little bit of experience coming behind me for that. It opens up everything so we're able to see more of what's behind the walls, see if we can do anything creative to make this space better, because this is the one and only time that we're really going to be able to do this. This has given us a lot of things to think about, and we're going to use the time right now to go and think about it and take a break until tomorrow. Apples and bags. that intact for now. Okay. <laughs> Whatever the term intact means in this house anymore. Well, as you guys can see, we've had some ideas and some change of plans. So stick with us here while we do what we have in our heads and then we'll explain what exactly we've got in our heads and why we did what we're about to do. Yeah, these aren't coming out unless you have something to try. Oh, you guys want to actually be able to see Angela? Hang on just a second. Hi! <laughs> you know how hard this is with people watching? 
Okay, everybody turn away. Hey, look. Sam was here, September 2019. You wrote that? I did, apparently. Well, Sam was here to take down what Sam did. In 2019? Two and a half years, that's it. Hang on a second. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. What? Show everybody this technique you're doing. I thought I was going to film something here. I know. Other than your proper square. And my pretty toenails. Well, I think I broke that one. That's fine. All right, let me have at it. I'll pull it out here. the ceiling. Hey, you know what you do? You just put your light box in, a junction, and make it a focal point. Problem is that light would never turn off because it's a junction box. The forever light. What in the world have we done? We decided to project creep a little bit more because I guess why not? This is when the house is empty. This is going to be the easiest time to do it. And let's just make it our dream house. So we have opened a lot of this up. We have spent a lot of time thinking and talking about what we want to do with this area and what is actually feasible that we can do with this area. We are going to move this doorway over to the left a little bit and then we're also going to put in a real house door so we're going to have to add some height but we're going to stick with a 32 inch door because it's just going to make more sense for the area that we have right here we are going to be moving the washer dryer we are going to do stackable because that's what we had been planning on doing we are going to be moving it from one side to the other the floor is already going to be open. We can move the plumbing and everything like that a lot easier because the floor will be open. So stackable washer dryer. Our doorway is going to open this way. And we are going to make the doorway even with this wall right here, which is going to be staying put. It's where our electrical panel is and everything like that. Let's not fall through the floor. Right here, we are going to have a closet pantry. It's going to be probably a foot and a half deep, maybe a little bit more than that, by about four feet. That is going to be bigger than anything I could have ever thought of. So this area will be a lot more open than it was before. 
the little opening that we were coming through before was only 28 inches. So I mean that is barely like shoulder width apart to come through. This will open it up a lot more. Going into the bedroom, this wall will be staying. We just have to make a few minor changes to it. And then we will have a closet right here for our hanging clothes that is two feet deep, which is more than enough for our hanging clothes. So we're gonna start by removing the finished floor so we can work on removing the subfloor. It's fighting me. There. We have quite the conglomeration and conflagration, conflagration, alignment. What is it? A celestial conjunction. That's it. We have quite the conjunction of floor going on under here. We have the Advantech OSB from the kitchen renovation. We have the new plywood from the bedroom renovation. And then we have the original old sawdust board from the construction of the home. I think to give us enough room to work around and get rid of all of this wonky stuff, I'm gonna take out a good portion of this wall. This wall, or at least the a wall in this location, will stay or will get put back or built new. But in order to gain access to the subfloor below and to work on everything and to make sure this eventual wall is supported properly, I think it just makes sense to go ahead and take this one out and then we can rebuild it whenever we're ready. Use your bar, knock the stud out. Alright, got a sledgehammer? Here's a regular one. I'll just say sledge when I use it. Sledge! Sledge! Sledge!
I believe we have reached um, a milestone of sorts for this video. <laughs> it's difficult for us sometimes to know where to stop the videos, especially when our work spans multiple days. Mm -hmm. But we have come to the conclusion, this is the end. There's a lot of good demo in this video. You get to see a lot of opening of spaces. Mm -hmm. You guys got to hear uh, the new layout, the new floor plan that we've created. And to make it, quote, our dream home. I think I heard someone say yes. that. So, hey, be happy with what you got. If you're not happy with what you have, maybe tweak it and make it happy. Do what you can. So give the viewers a little taste of what they can expect to see for the next. What are we coming up with next here? Well, we are going to be working in the floor because we have to move the water lines, drain lines for the washing machine. Mm -hmm. And then we are also going to be redoing some framing of the wall for our new door we're going to be putting in. Right. Which, we need to go buy that door. We probably do. Yeah, we need to make sure we have the door here on site before we frame it in case something happens with supply runs. True. And speaking of, that door we think is about an hour away. Only one or two stores have them, none of them local. Apparently that is the door. <laughs> the one that I've been told. So we will drive and go get it. But yeah, we need to have that here before we tear stuff apart. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. But either way, that's after we do the floor. Mm -hmm. Plumbing, flooring, buh. So lots more fun, a little bit more demo, but more building to come. What? Happy doing? kids in the background. Well, guys, thanks for coming along for another demo day. That was quite fun. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. See you guys. Bye. Let me show you what we're working with before I jump into demo. 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 <laughs> oh, wow. Demo. <laughs> This was a one person demo. I was able to do it by myself. And. And. And the end. <laughs> you want to try that again? I need the elevation device. That was confusing. What did you say to say? Oh, the other one was funnier. Demo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got to overexpose a little bit. Okay, his camera just looking at my butt because nobody wants to see that. Well, I can move it up a little bit. Yeah, let's not look at Sam's butt. Hey guys, I'm Angela and welcome to our channel. <laughs> the end! <laughs> the end! I mean, hey, what, what would I say? Do you want me beside you? Do you feel weird? Kinda. Okay. Hi. Sam did not change his shirt. It's because Sam's the uh, same video, Sam did the same drywall. Sam, 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 Sam. Back a doom, doom, doom. <laughs>